this, this, this is Trans Africa Radio. In 2013, his name is Ndozo Zakwe and he's in the building. How are you doing, sir? I'm all good. I'm all good. And you? Oh, we feeling nice. Your music is yeah. the one. Like, you don't understand. I've ah. been listening. And I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, you are all about beat, which is very contradictory. Yeah. Because most lyricists are just are in it for that, you know, the rhyme mm. and the lyrics and, and yeah. what I'm saying makes sense. It's almost like it has to be conscious. Yeah, so true. for the fact that you cater for both angles, I think yeah. that's absolutely amazing. Ah, no, thank you so much man thank you so much we try as much as we can because my music i feel as a rapper i'm yeah. underground so i have to have the commercial appeal so it comes with the music the beats yeah mm. yeah all right awesome stuff you've come a long way my g yeah uh, congratulations for, for for sticking in and making sure that you're still around uh, after a, a, a couple of years in the game yeah, yeah. Uh, from the native rhythm days yeah um, man. <laughs> you know you, you did a, a whole lot especially for keeping the the, the vernac rap um yeah. uh, sound out there you know, know. Uh, we, we've seen the likes of pro we've seen the likes of uh, who's the guys from mafi king um Rafi, guys Marafi, come through yeah. doing the the, the, the vernac raps and, and 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 making it big you know in terms of commercial uh, viability uh, but I feel like at some point South Africa was taking a turn in its in its music yeah. but Zaka was there and he's like nah, I'm not changing according yeah. to what you guys are doing yeah. I'm gonna stick to who I am mm. was that difficult when you see all these other guys flourish with, with these different sounds rapping in other languages yeah. and all of that um, I think it happens man it depends on the label yeah. that you are at you know mm. um, if the label believes so much in you that lets you be you you know what i mean yeah. i always tell people that i don't want to do what sells i want to sell what, you, what what i do you know mm. so um, at times uh radio and the media uh will force us to succumb to what's what's hot right now mm. when you submit they'll tell you that hey but this sound we into this sound right now you know what i mean yeah. but at the end of the day um i feel us as i'm a rapper we have to make top songs i mean yeah. abo abo tan can have made a ring of lies you know what i mean mm. so that that's not trap but it's making it so it's up to us so good not to, let's try as much as we make as we can to make dope music you know what i mean so let, yeah. let's just move on because um trap has been there not a corn and they penetrated c corner you know what i mean so yeah. now let's 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 do us back corner you know what i mean and where did this us uh, start? I mean, everybody knows that Zach has been in the game in and out type of thing. You know, you yeah. released a lot in 2015, a single in 2016, and 17 yeah. came in 2017. Yeah. Where did it all start for you? Um, started hip hop in 2004. Oh. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. And then um, 2007, I released my first mixtape. Yeah. 2008, I released the second mixtape. 2009, another mixtape. 2010, LL. Uh, the album Zagwe self-titled yeah, Zagwe yeah. and then in 2015 uh, I released another album yeah. titled Impande mm. and now we here releasing another album titled yes. Ibiza yeah alrighty tell us about the scene in, in Durban yeah uh, I know about a lot I heard about about uh, Bat Center yeah I know. Um, and I like <laughs> the fact that when you when you hear the music I can sort of as much as I grew up in, in Houteng and stuff mm. like that I can sort of grasp the fact that y'all had like the authentic elements of hip-hop happening in the streets back then yeah. uh, as far as a battle rapping cyphers and all of that how important is it do you think for for young guys out there especially who want to rap not yeah. just make music but who want to really get this rap thing sorted out how important is it for for one to in, involve themselves in such stuff like yeah this? i think hip-hop is a uh, rap to be to be precise uh is more of what you have done before so that soldiers will be with you when you are there you know what i mean yeah. which is very hard for me to 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 hear somebody say or whatnot because i represent so many people from kzn yeah. you know if you start a fight now then it means you're fighting with kzn as a whole you know what i mean yeah. so it's more like playing soccer where you'll start at under 13 and 15 under 17 uh you can come through and play for an open team without doing that it's possible but the respect 
and and um the paying your dues side is not done so it won't last and people will always ke- uh, take shots at you and whatnot you know what i mean so yeah. i utterly believe that if you were a rapper then we you have to start somewhere you know uh start from uh bed center your slaches your yeah, whatnot yeah. hence you you don't see many people taking shots up about proverb pro yeah, kid yeah, you yeah. know yeah, we no, pay you we, we, we've paid the dues you know what i mean yeah, yeah. you know um you kept on saying that you started somewhere but i know at some point for you it was more about learning than performing true you know you true. were there studying the game which i think a lot of people don't do and you can hear it mm, you know what i'm saying mm. how did you get yourself to that point where you're like you know what i'm gonna chill yeah i'm not gonna be out there trying to make the music yeah. i'm gonna learn how to make the music first yeah i think nowadays a lot of guys who want to get into music yeah. don't sit down and learn mm. you know sometimes you just gotta be a fan don't be um uber no more and say i can do better than that person every time when you get a chance to rap you saying i'm the best and everybody knows that you know what i mean learn the only way we can move forward is if we pay respect to the past and the present you mm-hmm. know what i mean so i stood there and i, I, I used to watch about zulu boy about shon g yeah. pro kid used to come through about do me and the volume mm. i'd learn you know what i mean yeah. and subconsciously it happens when you go to stage you know it's okay so probably if i do this and this and don't do what he did mm. i'll probably do better you know what yeah. i mean so for me it was like that to to make sure that as a fan just remain as a fan until you believe Guti, i'm the one who's supposed to be on that stage all right Alrighty. awesome stuff zaku is in the building in case you just tuned in send us all commentary via twitter it's at trans africa 872 on facebook trans africa radio.net not forgetting that whatsapp line plus two seven seven nine two five four four three two nine do not forget to hashtag the reapp or give us a ring on plus two seven one one four four seven seven one seven six so zaku yes, i want to get into the business um yeah, cuz yeah. cuz you you've done a lot of moves as far as the business is concerned you know yeah. um from native rhythms uh, shout out to Sipo, uh, Bob Sipo's tour and yeah. what he's doing for a lot of artists in the game. Yeah. I want to find out from you, uh, Jumping Ship uh, mm. and w- going to Mabala yeah. uh, and all of that. W- yeah. What's it like, life under a record label? Because I feel like we know there's signings and there's monies and all yeah. of that. But yeah. what is it like for U- Uzako? Because you've gone through different labels. So you, yeah. you could know a yeah. bit more than the average person true man um first and foremost i'd like to thank ubabu supposed you know mm. uh, okay i'm not sure because now he's doctor so oh, he no. killed me <laughs> doctor supposed uh, yeah. uh um as much as zulu boy discovered me he gave me the first break you know ubabu supposed doctor supposed you know uh until today we're still good you know what i mean it's mm. it's very vital Uguti, no matter the moves you make but do ne- don't ever burn your bridges you know so for me it was just a matter of growth when i left native rhythms um i didn't want to sign in uh, to any other label yeah. you know but then um ubabu reji um believed so much in in in, in what what i've done and what i'm doing yeah. and he heard some of the music you know mm. i didn't have the power uh to make sure that uh, my music is out there to the masses yeah. so hence we now um took it from mambala noise to universal because now we want to go to uh bigger stages you know what i mean so I wouldn't have done it alone. So I believe that as 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 an artist make sure that when you sign you read the contracts and whatnot you know yeah. uh, know what you're in it for you know mm. um for me um as much as when you come in there's a lot of hunger but make sure that the contract you read it although you're not in a position to to to, to negotiate mm. you know what i mean because you're too hungry you'll be like i know i don't want to take it to the lawyers i want to sign now yeah. but I, i'll give you advice make sure that you do that you know mm. yeah man so life under a label is very is very good if the label gives you that 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 um you know what yeah. i mean yeah, that yeah. freedom yeah yeah, yeah. A huge shout out goes out to Zach. We're giving us advice. Hey, mm. this stretches beyond. Uh, please do find us on social media. Let us know if you have any questions for Zakwe. B, I know we have some questions there. Yeah, we've got a, a question here from SK Online TV SA saying, Yo, B and Shay Shay, yeah. I just want to ask Zakwe to tell us about 17 Remix Challenge mm. uh, featuring various artists, what went down, and um, shouts to him for giving us another album. So before yeah. we unpack that, yeah. I want us to dial, like, just deep into the music okay. you know because this is about the music after all I want to play this one titled General Bazakwe then we'll come back and we talk all things 17 we'll talk all things latest album coming out we'll talk all things 6th of July right yep yeah, oh. 
His name is Zakwe and he is in the building. This one is titled General right here on Trans Africa Radio. 872 on DSTV's audio bouquet as well as 609 on Open View HD. If you're not too sure what you tuned into, better remember. This is the re-up. Most definitely, and it's a it's vibe. vibe. Trance. Yeah, whoa, I love the vibes. I love the vibes. So we were talking all things at Zakwe, and there was a question that came through by SK Online. Yeah, SK Online TV asked a simple question. Uh, he just wants to know if Zakwe, tell us about the 17 Remix Challenge featuring various artists. What went down? Um, Ash, we actually did the original last year. Uh, we couldn't push it because it was a good December, you know, and, and the guys uh, were busy, like Musicholic and, and Casper Yavest, you know. Mm. So when the year started, we were like, okay, we can't start now and say we're doing PR, we want to do, we want to promote this song. So can't we do a remix, you know? So mm. I featured um, uh, three Tswana rappers and uh, other two Zulu rappers. So that's the concept behind the 17. In remix, mm. yeah, yeah. So there's three Tswana rappers, t- uh, three Zulu rappers. Crazy because w- yeah. what I was yeah. counting was provinces. There right? we go. Yeah. Yes, he um, was I, actually. I, I was <laughs> like, yo, they got Mafiking, they yeah. got Capsic, not even provinces, but cities around. Yeah. You know, yeah. they got um, PTA, uh, mm. Black Les, and you obviously yeah. um, DBN. So, 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 tell us about the whole process because because the bars on that are really crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Uh, but I also think ooh, uh, SK Online is is referring to. I know the. the other other artists who weren't yeah. part of the remix who were yeah. doing this um, challenge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, uh, the guys approached me, uh, made me listen to the song and they were like, okay, uh, how can we do this? Can you give us the beat? You know, uh, the guys from Lesotho, some of them remade the beat. Um, it, so there's a Situ remix. Yeah. Um, dropping soon also, there's a Squatter Camp remix. What? You know, yeah, man. So the guys are actually loving the song and, they, yeah. I, and I, I just feel like like they understand that we need this we need rap although the beat is a bit trap but yeah. make sure that the rap is there you know so that's the challenge uh, that's what the challenge is about you know rapping to the chorus and the beats but making sure that you keep it 100% raw lyricism all right awesome, awesome stuff yeah i think i saw uh, a guy, uh, was Jovi Slash from my hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. dropped something. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I it was killed today. it. He killed yeah, it. he was chilling there. In the ah, music shout out to Jovi Slash. Shout out, shout out to Tumaka Music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that, that's the squad. <laughs> um, I got a message here from Surprising Limpopo saying, I want to give a shout out to Zake for being authentic mm. and thanks to my friends who adored you uh, from your al- debut album. I also followed the, the route. Yeah, a huge yeah. shout out goes out to Lesero all the way in Soweto who says shout out to Zakwe for always keeping it hood um, in his raps. He reminds me of Pro Kid with all his hood rap delivery. Yeah, I, that's a god MC, man. We, you know, we just rappers. I <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I know. Yeah, thanks, thanks, man. But that's what we'll be saying about you in the next two years or so. Yeah. You know I what I'm know. saying? I know. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Right. And, and, and I want to find out from you, what do you think about the current status of, of, of rap? Especially yeah. in South Africa right now Because a lot of cats are out there More than we used to back in the days We probably had like 7, 10 artists Now yeah. we have like a whole yeah. bunch You know, over 30 of yeah. people Who are making money from this What do you think about that? I'm very happy with the status of hip-hop yeah. Which is the culture. Yeah. You know, mm. you see uh, house DJs rocking baggy jeans, uh, rocking sneakers, you know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I wasn't really happy with the level of rap, the rhythm and poetry side, you know, yeah. where we have to mute the beat and hear what you're saying, uh, like like decipher the verse to send us understand what are you saying, you know what I mean? Because uh, people have to hold us accountable of whatever we say on songs, you know yeah, what I mean? So, yeah. But if it's realness, who am I to define what's real hip hop and what's real rap and what's not? You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm very happy to see um, other rappers feeding off from what Abu Amu have started, Abu Squatter Camp and whatnot. So we, we have to, at, by all means, protect those guys. Abu Pro Kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. We have to make sure that we bring them on. Hence, we, we, we brought, I, I brought him back on, on the 17 remix, you know, yeah. even on my previous album, Zola 7 was there, Pro Kid mm. was there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, even now on this album there's Mappa Puti so we try as much as we can to, to remain authentic and bring back those guys who paved the way for us you know I yeah. love that you brought up the album let's talk about the album it was supposed to release end of May if I'm not mistaken yeah. and then there was a bit of a delay and now it's on the 6th of July Yeah. what yeah, happened yeah. there? 
Um, I think uh, my name is communication. I know Papa Wam. Like Kukulum and Umdoya, then then Adzian and all that is showcase, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then when you go into in depth, then they'll be like, no, let's let's release on the sixth because who and who is supposed to release on this date, you know what I mean? Ah. So, I mean, I already I, I submitted like way, way, way back, you know, I think it was about April Ganji, but mm. I'm very content with dropping now because at the end of the day, season this was under one, it's about six bandages. So I don't mind. Okay, and yeah. what can we expect on the album in ter- like in terms of sound and just features? What's going on in the album? Um, the album is very different from the mixtapes and the albums that I've released. You know, yeah. Um, I, I co-produced the whole album. Uh, you know, so for the two years that I haven't released anything, I've been learning music. You know, falling in love with the bass lines and whatnot. Yeah, so yeah. I felt like this is my chance to actually not practice but to do. It. It, you know what yeah. I mean yeah. and work hand in hand with every producer when it comes to arrangements when it comes to mixing and mastering you know I was there 100% so it's fully me I'm very excited about the project you know there's 20 tracks on this on, on the on the album um, with features from Abu Mapaputi Doggy T yeah. J. Claude there's Ma'i you know so mm. I'm very blessed man I, I utterly feel like this is the best album that I, ha- I have I have ever done you know yeah. yeah, it's an extensive album, I must say. The pre-release pre-releases out on Apple Music and also uh, what's the digital mm. platforms. Yeah. Um, Twenty songs on this. Yeah. Um, the the uh, the. the, the the variety as far as artists that you 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 you've picked out for yeah. for this one really really impressive I'm, I'm happy you brought back tribal uh, oh yeah yeah, yeah, well, yeah like, i don't yeah. understand what, what, what's <laughs> tribal is doing actually tell us about that that, that song yeah. especially you and tribal in studio um that song man is very close to my heart it, uh, it's it's the second joint on the album is yeah. titled Nyabong. Mm. you know where it talks about me getting into the industry uh all the guys who've assisted me and what happened between the labels that I was in like you need to listen to the song because the song is like 32 bars 30, uh, 24 bars you know what I mean straight up rap it's 6 minutes so Tribal does the chorus you know mm. um, I called Tribal uh, to, to, to do the chorus and when I got in there he already done like 2 songs with the producer that I'm talking about <laughs> XYZ you know so I was yeah. like okay where's my joint if you already done 2 and yeah, yeah. he already done my joint so he's a very hard worker so yeah shout out to Tribal all right. right. Yeah. So um, are you got a question there? Commentary is coming in. Commentary is coming in. The likes of Lesejo is asking, uh, what does Zakwe think, or uh, what's Zakwe's stance rather on the female rapper spectrum yeah. throughout South Africa? Let's take it to Africa a bit. Yeah. Even. Um, I'm very excited, you know, like oh, yeah? they, they, they're actually proving more than males, like saying, okay, uh, a lot of males are in it because it's the issue you know, right now. It's making it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hip hop is like the main thing. They treat it like a job opportunity. Well, whereas for us, this is our life, you know what I mean? Yeah. So ladies, I feel like they doing the most right now. About Roach, about No Mosley, about Gigi Lamain, you know, they rapping hardcore. I wouldn't want to be on a track with those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man shout out to the ladies they doing the most respect respect alrighty so some commentary is coming in from Junior let's just uh, evening guys uh, uh, hola hola Zakwe uh, this is Junior uh, I'm actually on my way back from uh, Limpopo coming down to the city of gold uh, but my question to Zakwe is uh, Zakwe look uh, there's certain artists that have no problem when featuring somebody to lay down a verse because of technology, send the song to the person, let them lay down a verse and then a uh, music engineer, producer puts the thing together and it sounds as though you guys were in the studio at the same time. Um, as an artist, do you prefer being in that same space with the person that you're working with on a song? Or are you okay with doing a verse, sending the beat and your verse to the next person, them laying down their bars and then sending it back and then you decide as to whether does it come before or after yours, uh, you know? Uh, So I just want to know, do you prefer being in the studio at the same time with the people that you collab with? Because from an energy perspective, I feel like that is so much important and at times, you know, there are great songs, for example, Wale and Questa, who did a, you know, Spirits is a 
beautiful song, but I feel as though it would, would have taken such a different approach and it would have been maybe so much bigger had they both been in the studio at the same time, you know, helping each other out and feeding off each other's energies. Uh, yeah, so this is Junior on the N1. Chap. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Junior on the N1. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, Ash, it, 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 it depends if there's a relationship between me and the next artist. Mm. You know, um, if my relationship with, with Tribal is proper, then I wouldn't mind Tribal sending me the vocals, you know, because yeah. he knows what's talking Zongena Langenzenje, you know. But if it's a new artist, I'd prefer to be in studio, you know, with yeah. that artist so that we can we can um feel the vibe, both of us get to know each other before we even record, you know. Yeah. And have a studio session, mm. you know. So it's it's things like that. But if it if, if it forces me to do so then I don't mind. Like the seventeen remix, you know. Mm. Um I was there when double H P and Pro were recording, but I wasn't there when Quest uh, and 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 the other guys uh, were recording, but they sent the verse. At the yeah. end of the day, the song was nice. So mm. some situations force you to do that, but preferably if I don't, I'm not. Uh, uh, if I don't have a relation, a good relationship with the artist, I prefer studio session. Wow. Yeah. So before we talk future prospects, let's get into this one. This is one of my favorites. All right, seventeen, but not the remix. Okay, oh. we're gonna play like the chilled out one. This is where Music Holic is, as well as Casper your vest. If you do have commentary, you can send it through on Twitter. We are at Trans Africa eight seven two. On Facebook, we are Trans Africa Radio dot net, and on WhatsApp, we are plus two seven seven nine two five four four three two nine. Do not forget to hashtag the reup on all social media platforms so you can pick it up real quick and share 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 with the rest of africa right now call us on plus two seven one one four four seven seven one seven six this is trans africa radio all right then on awesome tune it reminds me of my the good old days when we tried to rap but we stopped that uh 17 <laughs> by Zakwe featuring casper as well as musicholic right here on ta radio dot mobi yes the station of the gods and we have Zakwe in the building shout out to you for that work it when i heard yeah. it the first time i was mm. like ah man yeah. uh, i know thank you so much rap man. is back you know what i mean that's what i felt like at that yeah. moment you know what i mean appreciate it so should people be looking forward to hearing more of the raps obviously you rap but uh, yeah but i want to find out because what you said earlier on in the, on the, in the interview was yeah. really really uh, important um the, getting the music to to work with with the raps you know yeah. as you said yeah. you feel like you're an underground rapper which i yeah. don't agree to yeah. and you are trying to do this <laughs> commercial thing yeah. i just feel like you are everyone's just a rapper it's just yeah. that they have to think about the music at, at some point and, and you're doing very well with that right now yeah uh, is yeah. it more a musical because already you talk about a six minute song yeah. uh with with tribe and all of that what should people look out for as far as songs that you feel like will touch people alone not those club bangers yeah. and stuff like that yeah uh I'm, I'm i mean i'm very i'm a very conscious rapper you know so there's a lot of songs where I, I, I want to talk to you, sit down and listen to the music, especially your track 8, track 9, track 11, you know what I mean? Where you play that song, those songs, drive on the N1. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so, yeah, man, that's me. But but there's a lot of uh, bangers too, you know, sure. because at the end of the day, it's not nice getting to a club and you're only listening, when you listen to only other rappers and not your music, you yeah. know what I mean? So we tried as much as we can, Jengabo 17, there are some songs like that too yeah. Mm. Yeah. a huge shout out goes out to Eddie who sent in this question who says uh, Zakwe is it simple for you to just take people uh, who are upcoming who haven't made it you yeah. know and just put them on your album does it yeah. does it come naturally to you because I mean you know with other artists yeah, you're going to yeah. be out there begging for three years and then mm. maybe when you put a track out there and someone feels it maybe they'll call you back yeah. with you is it a different story uh, for me uh, I've learned to understand something about myself that I find more joy to see somebody happy because of me you know what I mean mm. as, as much as I'm happy for myself yeah. but I feel I have I find more joy to see somebody saying I'm here because of you know what I mean I'm very happy that I'm here because someone uh, like Zagwe assisted me you know what I mean yeah. um, not that I want people to say that you know mm. but for me okay I've done my job you know so uh, I do have hey I think there's 50% unknown 
guys on the album you know yeah yeah and then the 50 percent are known guys so i try as much as i can every time when i make an album to introduce new talent Mm. All right, awesome. What's the relationship like with you and and, and, and your son? It seems like uh, yeah. he's from he's he's doing the <laughs> yeah. proper work for you. He's winning in this life. Thing, you know? yeah. What's it like actually being a father? Jim? Yeah, I know. Yes, he, he actually does that like off cam to me. You know, yeah. Mang him jalo gutok him klaga sexy. Uber ready sa tobin like okay him klaga sexy. Kan jalo like okay woo woo woo. Oza gik shoot eke. Let me let me take that. You know, so he's very vibey. Um, sometimes uzo ingo mamuza sang rapela. You know. You know what I mean? Aww. So I'm very excited. I don't want him to take this pet though, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, he's he's, he's a vibe. We, we we we're very good with him. Yeah. Alrighty. So we let's just look at your future prospects because we are running out of time. Yeah. Um, what are you gonna be doing? Are you performing? What's going on? Uh yeah, man. We 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 we're pushing um tomorrow. Uh, no, 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 on, on Friday. Yeah. Uh we're gonna be out at Happy Hippo. I'm doing a live band session. <gasps> yeah, so yeah, uh one hour it's called up close and personal with Zagwe yeah, also yeah. celebrating my brother's birthday Umzulu um, it's a happy hippo at Depe in Jalapangasa Shaga Marine yeah. uh, come out in numbers let's come through and enjoy the, the beautiful music because I'm the type of rapper you know where you can just sit down and listen to the music you Ash. know I want to talk to those guys you know okay. <laughs> and then other than that on the 6th um, we, we we actually going to do a, a launch at Vakamata in Durban Yeah. so yeah people should look out for that Vakamata in Durban it's the Durban week, uh, Durban July weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. The album is coming out. It's available now for pre-order. But then next week we drop in the album. Yeah. Right. right. Cannot wait for next week. I think it's a Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a Friday drop. Do the right thing. Find a Zakwe on social media. It is at Zakwe SA on Twitter and Instagram and Zakwe on Facebook. Yes. Sir. Um, the other thing is I would like to ask you, okay, here, yeah, Trans Africa Radio. Yeah. We play hundred percent African music. Yeah. No cold, no Lamar, nobody. Uh, what are your shout thoughts? Out, shout out. Um ah man, Ash, I didn't know. So yeah, man, shout out to you guys. Yeah. I think more we, we should do more of that yeah. in most radio stations you know so mm. you guys are leading the pack so shout out to you guys thank you so much for that okay Zakwe yeah. before we release you I need you to do that laugh we're talking about this off air <laughs> yeah. I am in love with that laugh like you don't understand I need to hear it but it's just gonna like intro you to the song because we're gonna play um, 17 the remix with yeah. everybody in it yeah. so I'll, gi- I'll give you a young countdown you okay. know and then you <laughs> laugh for us and then come daddy and then we play the songs right <laughs> so it's like a 5 it's a yeah. 4 it's a 3 2 one. <laughs> this is Trans Africa Radio.